Well, well, hey everybody, this is Joe. I'm out at Hyperloop Plaza in Bastrop, Texas. And this place is just continuing to grow like you would not believe. Now, a few years ago when I first came out here, it was just basically an empty location with a little bit of the Boring Company uh, starting to take shape. Since then, this place has grown to be a full-fledged Boring Company facility and manu manufacturing plant for the tunnel boring machines. They also built Hyperloop Plaza in the Boring Bodega here, which is a community center open to the public as well as serving the employees here of all of the various companies that are located on this site. And uh, it's continuing to grow and they continue to change out what they have inside. And as I've mentioned on before, uh, previous videos, they have barbershops inside, they have uh, a bar, they have games, they have a uh, place to get food. They also have a mini supermarket inside and a lot of other things. Plus, you can get Boring Company merchandise. In addition to that, behind me over here is the new X Safety Center and as of just last week, announced as, at least for now, the headquarters for the X Company. The, the old uh, Twitter that is now X, and this is the facility, and it's right here next to the Hyperloop Plaza, or in the Hyperloop Plaza, next to the Boring Bodega, and of course, the Boring Company site. Now, as I turn around, on this side of the street is the Starlink facility for SpaceX and you'll notice that there is a lot of construction behind me. That is because they are in the process of more than doubling the original size of this facility. And right behind me here in the white with that uh, swooping glass line onto the corner, that's the original 521,000 square foot facility. But with this new construction that is going on, as I mentioned, that's going to be more than doubling it. It's about $8 million worth of uh, new work that is going on here. And this is all because the Starlink is becoming very popular around the world, not only in a variety of different communities, countries, and uh, other places that have difficulty getting internet, but also we're seeing with cruise ships and airlines, among many other businesses, that are adopting Starlink. And because of that, they need to continue to increase the size of the facility and joining in with the X Company's headquarters, the Boring Company, the uh, Boring Bodega, and Hyperloop Plaza, this entire area is just becoming enormous part of the Elon Musk uh, economy of this part of Texas. Now, interestingly enough, this is not the only parts of his empire or his uh, suite of companies that is growing up here in this part of Texas. Just a few miles down the road is the Neuralink campus and that is in development as well as being used for some of their research. And then of course a few miles away from that is Giga Texas and the headquarters for Tesla. And if we grow even larger up to about 300 mile radius of this area that would include McGregor which is where they do a lot of the testing of their Merlin Raptor engines and also the Falcon 9 uh, boosters and uh, upper stages. And then of course, Starbase, which is also the headquarters for SpaceX, is down at uh, the south part of Texas as well. So where we're standing is kind of ground central of all of the Elon Musk companies here in Texas, and it's just continuing to grow. So hopefully with what I'm talking about here, some of the imagery that I've been showing throughout this uh, short video clip, this gives you a really good appreciation of what is going on here, what it looks like today. And of course, in a few months, it's gonna look even more developed than it is now. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this interesting and informative and I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Take care.